Hello everyone and welcome back to Missile Dine Online in episode 3 of Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we got here to Viridian City and we defeated our rival on Route 22, Freezing, Freezing Factor. We beat him, so that's good. We also got the second member on our team, Chu, which is our, our good old Pikachu. Now, I actually went off screen and caught a different Pikachu. This one has a hasty nature, which increases its speed at the expense of defense which is much better than the other nature that it had. So I went ahead and just did that off screen. Uh, we definitely did not want that other one. Would have been terrible. Would have been a terrible thing. It lowered its special attack, which is not good. Not good at all. We also, you'll notice, still have Kakuna and Metapod in our party. That's because we are going to actually uh, uh, evolve them coming up real soon. So, as, as I said in the last episode, one of the things that we want to do right now is we want to uh, fill up our Pokedex as much as we possibly can. We want to get to about 30. Uh, reasonably quick. Reasonably quick. We want to get an item, the item finder, which we'll be able to get later. Um, but we want to make sure that we're there. So, let's actually get into Viridian Forest. Episode 3, Through the Forest. Finally, we can actually, like, explore Viridian Forest. I like it. So right here, if you search the tree, you will find an antidote. Wonderful. Gotta love it. Alright. So, and then we'll come down over here. And if we go right here, we will find a potion and perhaps a random encounter. Probably. That's... Odds are. And we don't have any repels yet. Alright. Now that that's done, you can talk to this guy. He's not gonna say anything. He's just gonna say, I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon and I ran out. That's why you can never have too many Pokeballs. Uh, speaking of Pokeballs, we only have one right now. So, this is a skippable trainer, so we can just go around him like that. Okay. Like I said, you can just go around him and continue on your journey. However, I'm going to be fighting all of the trainers off... The, the non-mandatory trainers. I'm going to be fighting all of them off screen. Uh, let me know, though, in the comments below if you want to see trainer fights. I doubt you do. I feel like it would take forever if I showed trainer fights. And I planned it perfectly! Metapod is evolving. Oh, how exciting. I actually made it so that uh, both Metapod and Kakuna just needed one more battle and they would evolve. So what is Metapod going to be, I wonder? I wonder. And Metapod evolved into Butterfree. Congratulations. Oh, I love Butterfree so much, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, Butterfree is awesome. And it also learns Confusion at level 10, which is a psychic move, uh, which is... Honestly, actually pretty decent. What? Kakuna is evolving too? Huh. Whoever could have planned that? Who could have planned that? Might have been me. Might have been me. I might have done that. And... Congratulations! Ah, your Kakuna evolved into Beedrill. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And he will learn Fury Attack at level 10. Not as good as Confusion. So, let's take a look at Butterfree and Beedrill. So real quick, because I haven't covered Kakuna or Metapod in a bio, let me just say do not catch these Pokemon. Don't do it. They only know Harden in the wild, so you might as well just catch a Weedle or a Caterpie so at least they can attack. And they evolve at level 7 and 10, so it's not a huge deal. Moving on, let's talk about Beedrill first. So Beedrill is a bug poison type. It retains its typing throughout its evolutionary chain, and it has the ability Swarm which powers up Bug-type moves, which is actually useless in this game because there's really only three types that, uh, three Bug-type moves that you have access to. None of them are worth having it, having Swarm for. So its ability is kind of lost on Beedrill. So let's take a look at Butterfree. Unfortunately, Butterfree gets a secondary typing and flying when it evolves, which is not very good at all. However, it does have a better ability. Compound Eyes raises accuracy by 30% of a move's original accuracy, making things like Sleep Powder and whatnot much, much better on Butterfree. Butterfree, I can actually somewhat recommend, especially since it learns an attack like Confusion at level 10, which will be useful for a little while in the game anyways. And its special attack is at 80, its special defense is at 80, its speed is at 70. Ah, Butterfree, I think, is better than Beedrill. So, clearly you can tell that I like Butterfree just a little bit more than I actually like 
Beedrill. But we are actually going to switch to not Chu. We're actually going to switch to Agumon. Uh, we want Agumon to hit level 13 while we are in... Wow, oops, what did I just do? Uh, we want Agumon to hit level 13 while we are here in this... In this forest. So... So keep an eye out for that. Here's another trainer that is easily skippable. You can just walk right around him. And we can read this sign that says, Trainer Tips, contact Professor Oak via PC to get your Pokedex evaluated. Nice! In that one battle, we actually got Charmander to hit level 12, which is pretty crazy. So right here, you can get an Antidote, which is super, super useful in this area. And you can also go this way, it's actually faster, but I'm gonna go this way just to kind of show you. Um, there is a trainer up here that you can skip, and you actually have to wait for him to turn back around if you want to skip him. Just like that, and you can easily go past him. I will say that if you have a uh, flying type Pokemon or a with flying type moves or Charmander, you will absolutely wreck this first like dungeon area. All right, now that that trainer is defeated and he doesn't really say anything, he lost some of his allowance to me. <laughs> we got like I don't even know like seventy dollars, seventy Poke dollars from that fight. Useless, useless. All right, let's continue on and not sneeze all over my keyboard. That would be great. Uh, there's another bug trainer right here that you can easily, easily avoid. Uh, he won't even turn to look at you. You actually have to talk to him to start the fight. All right, now that he's dead, and we actually hit level 13 on Agumon. So if we look at Agumon or Charmander, we will see that he has the new move. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh my god. I suck. I suck so hard. So, Metal Claw. The foe is attacked with Steel Claws and may also raise the user's attack. It's super rare, though. Its accuracy is 95 and its power is 50. It's obviously Steel, so it's a physical attack in this game. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's going to be necessary, though, in the upcoming gym. They actually gave Charmander this move literally just to help him get through the first gym. So, if we continue down here, we'll actually find one of the last items in here, second to last item that you can find, which is a potion. Uh, we'll actually have plenty of potions. We probably won't have to buy any anytime soon. We can talk to this trainer tip sign too. It says you can't catch a Pokemon that belongs to someone else. No, you can't. All right, so we can go here, right here. There's actually another potion. Look at that. And uh, we'll just go here and talk to him just because it's quicker. Then this this fight is actually mandatory, so I will show this one. And I forgot to switch to Pikachu. I actually wanted Pikachu to take this whole fight, so we will do that. Uh, he's going to start with a level nine Weedle. That's actually all he has. Which you know maybe you should evolve your Pokemon every once in a while, dude. So we are going to switch to old Pikachu. He's going to use String Shot on us, which is going to lower our speed, which is actually fine. Uh, because we are going to try right off the bat with a Thunder Wave. Watch, guaranteed we're going to be poisoned on the first try. A critical hit too? Damn. No, we didn't get poisoned. Nice. I like that very much. So we'll go with a Thunder Wave. Always good to hit him with. And we will do a Thunder Shock. Now, I actually do recommend training up your Pikachu to about, if you have one, if you're following me. Uh, doing exactly what I do, which would be very weird, by the way. Um, I am going to level my Pikachu until level 10. So... It's going to make the next gym battle, the first gym battle, a lot easier. Because we're going into that fight against two rock ground type Pokemon with a fire type, which is weak to rock, and an electric type, which is weak to ground, and can't use its electric attacks on. So, we're going to have our, our work cut out for us. And we won it! We get 108 Poke Dollars for winning. Always nice. And we didn't level up from that, though, which is not good. Which is not good. And he says you dropped items. Can you help find it? Yeah, I think we just found your potion, and I believe we stole it. I believe we stole it. So, with that, we are practically done with Viridian Forest. Alright, so, we can leave. Obviously, this isn't going to say anything. It's just going to say, Pewter City! Pewter City ahead! We can talk to people if we so choose. Have you noticed the skinny trees? They can be cut down by HMO1! Cut. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to get different kinds. Uh, or just Zubats. Do you know the evolution cancel technique? Yeah, press B. Is that what you mean? Just press B. Okay. So, Route 2, we will not find any new Pokemon. It's exactly what we found on the previous Route 2 uh, section before Viridian City. Uh, Viridian Forest. I keep saying Viridian City. Right here, all Pokemon that appear in battle, however briefly, will get XP. We can talk to this guy, too. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all, like, bug catchers, you know, just hobbyists. But Pure City's Brock isn't like that. No, not one bad. So we can go here to the Pokemon Center, which is something that we absolutely need to do, and heal up our Pokemon! 
and we can deposit our dear old Butterfree and Beedrill, uh, who are not ever going to be on our team. Which is too bad, because I actually love Butterfree. I actually was considering having Butterfree on my team. On my tween. So, my question of the day for everyone today is, have you ever used a Butterfree on your team or a Beedrill? And do you recommend it on my team? Let me know in the comments below, and maybe I'll add Butterfree. Oh, Jigglypuff, that music is so beautiful. I love you so much. And we can talk to him. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get sleepy. It's true. It's true. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon, huh? I'm on the phone. Scram, kiddo. And they're training, uh, trading a Pikachu for a Clef Clefairy. Uh, pretty decent trade, I would say. I would say that's a pretty decent trade. Right here, I'm glad to meet you. That's unfriendly of you. How about... Oh, come on. Tell me about yourself. I'd love to hear your profile. Tell me something good. Sure. Uh, we can just literally change this to, I'm gonna train it to Pokemon, or no, I'm gonna change it to Trainer, Evolve, Evolve a Pokemon Friend. That's pretty much my, my motto in Pokemon. Huh, your profile really says something about who you are. Now that I know you better, it makes us better friends than ever. Dude, I don't even know your name. We're not friends. We ain't friends here, okay? 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 Now, there's actually not much to do in Viridian City right now. It would look like there's items right here, right? It would look like it. There's not. There's no items here. We can talk to this guy, though. Do you know what I'm doing? Yes. That's right. It's hard work. Uh, what are you- Wait, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Now I have to- spray Spraying Repel to keep wild Pokemon out of his garden. Nice! Nice! That's the first time that we hear about Repel. This is actually the first city that you can buy Repel as well. We can get that from the Mart, uh, but we'll do that after the gym fight. I want to show you a potion that we can grab, or an item, not a potion, an item that we can grab right here, which is actually a Pokeball. Yeah! Gnarly sauce! And we can head down. Right here, you'll notice this. This is the museum. It'll cost 50 Poke Dollars to get in, and you don't really see much except for some fossils, which we'll take a look at after the gym fight as well. Look at the D-pad! I love it. I love it. Did you check out the museum? Yeah, we did. If you say no, he'll actually walk you over to the museum. If you go past this guy right here or talk to him, he will bring you to Brock, the gym leader, which we don't actually want to follow him right now because it takes just so much time. So much time. So, I am going to get Pikachu to level 10 and then we will take on Brock. Alright, and Pikachu hit level 10, which is exactly what we needed. The reason for that is not because... Uh, it's going to be useful in the fight coming up at all. It's more that, well, that's not true, actually. I lied to you. Pikachu is actually going to be super useful in the fights coming up. Like, actually super useful. Even though it's an electric type and can't attack the Pokemon that we will be fighting. So, let's head to the first gym battle in the entire game. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So, right over here, we'll go down to the gym. And we will be able to fight Brock. Wait, what do you have to say to us? Clefairy came from the moon. That's what the rumor is anyways. They appeared after moonstones. Huh. Interesting. So let's make sure that we switch and that we have uh, Agumon actually first in our party. Because he's going to need the experience from these fights. The stronger Agumon is, the better we can win. Do you dare to dream of beating the champion? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. Right here, we get into a mandatory gem battle. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. I'm about three steps, actually, from facing Brock. Thank you very much, kiddo. So, Camper Liam would like to battle. What's going on, Liam Hemsworth? He's gonna send out a Geodude. Oh no, whatever are we gonna do? We're gonna do Metal Claw. Metal Claw actually does a tremendous damage because obviously Steel is effective against Rock. Giving us kind of an upper hand in this battle. Still not upper hand enough though. So all of this Geodude knows is Defense Crawl and Tackle. So we're not going to see him use anything else, which is fine by me. Seriously, I I'm totally okay with that. And we'll go ahead and use Metal Claw yet again. And down goes level 10 Geodude. We're going to get a ton of experience from this, too. 183, so that'll boost us to level 14, which is which is pretty gnarly sauce. And 
Uh, he's going to send out a Sandshrew. We're not going to change our uh, party, obviously, because Pikachu would literally just die. And we'll just go and go ahead and use Ember. Uh, it'll actually do more damage than Metal Claw. And the hope, too, is that maybe we could have gotten a burn off on Sandshrew, but it doesn't totally matter, honestly. Awesome! So we are actually going into... 219, wow. So we are going into the first uh, gym battle without taking any damage. Light years isn't time, it measures distance. And we get 220 Poké Dollars for winning. Always good. We can talk to him. You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. Wow, are you into Brock? Are you into Brock, dude? Let's talk to Brock. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym's leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokémon. My Pokémon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokémon are all the rock type. <laughs> You're gonna challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best! 